coronavirus crisis imposing us to think and ask about life has never been done before. We have not control of the situation, therefore we do not have control of the outcome. But we have ultimate control of how we react to the crisis. Time is always be commodity, and we do have it in abundance of the self-isolation that we are in right now to beat the virus. And I want to talk to you about Viktor Frankl and his book, and how that book helped me come out of one of my darkest moments of life. And that is the same situation we find ourselves. Originally published in the 1946, Man Search for Meaning detailed the harrowing experience of the author and psychologist Viktor Frankl during his detention in Auschwitz concentration camp during the Second World War. It offers us insight into how human beings can survive a harrowing situation come to terms of trauma, and ultimately find means. The core philosophy of Frankl is that man's deepest desires is to find meaning in his life. And if he can find that meaning, he can survive anything. Frankl found meaning in his experience in the concentration camp by deciding that he was going to use his suffering as an opportunity to make himself a better person. Instead of becoming apathetic and accepting that he was doomed, he chose to embrace his suffering. So according to Frankl, while a man's destiny in life is certainly affected by the circumstances in which he finds himself, he is ultimately free to choose his own path in life. Even in the worst situation possible, man always has the freedom to choose his attitude to our life. Frankl claims that there are three ways to find meaning in life. Through work, through love, and through suffering. On uh, meaning of life, who has a why to live for? can be a almost anyhow, Nietzsche. Frankl quotes Nietzsche, and I believe that this is the core thought of the book. If you have a reason to live, you can overcome any obstacles and survive the tremendous amount of pain. If you don't have anything to live for, you may have piles of money, plenty of friends and relatives, but nothing that makes you feel fulfilled. Generally speaking, life is not primarily a case for pleasure, as Fred believed, or a case for power, as Alfred Alder thought, but a case for meaning. The greater task for any person is to find meaning in his or her life. Frankl believed that it is a human nature to search for meaning more than anything else. Further, he also believed in healing the soul by leading it to find meaning in life. It did not really matter what we expected from life, but rather what life expected from us. We needed to stop asking about the meaning of life and instead to think of ourselves as those who were being questioned by life, daily and hourly. Our answer must consist not in talk and meditation, but in the right action and in the right conduct. Frankl poses the question from a different angle. What does life expect from us? Life ultimately means taking the responsibility to find the right answer to a problem and to fulfill the task which is constantly set for each individual. The meaning of life 
is not something vague, rather something very concrete that form each individual. Questions about the meaning of life can never be answered by sweeping statement. Life does not mean something vague, but something very real and concrete, just as life tasks are also very real and concrete. They form man's destiny, which is different and unique. To find a meaning in life is our primary motivation, whether we realize it or not. The sooner we realize it, the better. If we would accept that it is a pleasure what drives us, we would consider ourselves to be pleasure seekers. But if we are pleasure seekers, why some of us trying to improve themselves, help others, and create something valuable? It does not make sense, right? Unless most of us are not pleasure seekers. This striving to find meaning in one's life is the primary motivational force in a man. That's why I speak of a will to meaning in contrast to the pleasure principle. What you did in your life and with your life yesterday and 10 years ago is the strongest power of who you are today. I should say, having been in the surest kind of being, what you have experienced, no power on earth can take from you. But make no mistake, looking for your purpose in life does not necessarily bring you peace and quiet. So here you have it. We find ourselves in that situation with no fall of no one. Nature sending us messages. And it's for us to adapt to the message that nature sent it to us. Ultimately, as a human species, our survival depends on the fact that we will beat that coronavirus and come out stronger out of the situation. And have faith and patience and believe that we have the power to adjust and to come up of that situation. So remember, it's not what happened to you that matter, but how you react to it that crucially matter. Thank you. Do like the video, do share it, and do subscribe if you have not done it yet. And I hope you find it useful and distribute it with your friend, colleague, whoever you are you like.